Good morning. It's about 9.30, Sunday, July 10th. It's been two weeks since Bertie and I shot the last video of the garden. This is a quick overview of what's happened in the last two weeks. This will be the sixth in the series. As you can see, the melons on this end have grown out into the yard. Uh, that's to be expected. You can also see that the radishes have been removed. And in their place, I have put in onion sets there and some onion plants uh, in two rows over here. And they should be coming along pretty soon. The uh, peppers are doing great. Uh, we're starting to eat. Uh, these are called salsa peppers on the end. They're mildly hot uh, and they're very, very good. Uh, the next row over here, the better bells are extremely large and they're well uh, to size to uh, start eating, which we will. Uh, the pepperoncinis that I've talked about before are much larger than you get in the jars from the store, uh, and they're kind of cool. We have a ripe tomato that I will be picking later on today, and let's see if I can reach down in this plant and maybe uh, get a picture. You can see a red object right there. And so we are starting very slowly to get some ripe tomatoes. The tomato plants are huge, uh, four foot tall and at least four foot across. And we'll spin over to here. You can see on the Chinese snow peas, we have been picking them about every other day and getting a quart bag. And the plants are absolutely loaded with Chinese snow peas. Uh, I'll zoom in on the top of one over here and you can see the peas uh, hanging on the plants. So uh, I don't know how much longer they'll last, but they're very prolific right now. While I'm up on this end, I want to show you uh, this is muskmelons that are growing here. And uh, you can see one down in there. Uh, that one is probably a good eight inches across. And there's another small one. I'll reach in here with my stick. And you can see where it is. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. And uh, it's quite large too. But the one over there is big as the deckers that we get here in Indiana, which are very, very large. I try to spin around very slowly. Um, I have put up a stick, which is eight foot, and I marked seven foot on it, and I put a triangular piece up at the top to give you an idea of how the sunflowers are doing. Uh, there's a seven foot mark, and there's a triangle to eight, and you can see that uh, on an average, uh, the sunflowers are approaching eight foot tall and that particular one is actually larger, I'm sorry, taller uh, than the rest. So the sunflowers are reaching up. Interestingly, none of them have started setting any pods on top. Uh, with a couple exceptions, I see one pod starting over there. Uh, so we'll be having some sunflower heads perhaps by the uh, time of the next uh, video. But the uh, Russian mammoths are indeed mammoths, and I don't know what to tell you. So, green beans are ready to pick. Uh, let me get down in here. I don't know how well this will come out in the video, but we'll take a look down in here, and you can see uh, green beans uh, all over the place um, that are uh, ready to go. So I'm going to have to get out here and pick those, and... You can also see right here from the uh, Chinese snow peas that I'm going to have to pick them again or they'll turn into peas. The zucchini uh, continues to amaze me. I have to pick just about every day and we get between six and nine uh, zucchini. I picked yesterday and there weren't any big ones and you can see that there are uh, quite good size zucchini that are uh, ready to go again. Interestingly also, we haven't lost any plants. Usually by this time, there's another big guy down in there. Uh, there's one growing out uh, here uh, also. So uh, we're doing real well 
in uh, zucchini and sunflowers uh, and you can see again down there how tall they really are that's eight foot and the uh, tomatoes uh, again are doing absolutely great the uh, tomatillas up at this end a couple of the plants are just absolutely loaded and Justin uh, was correct we're going to have zillions of those uh, when they in fact start coming on and getting ripe and we'll have to figure out what to do with it uh, the rest of the tomatoes you can see in here some of them are starting to get quite large and uh, won't be that long where we'll start having uh, green tomatoes uh, down here romas and you can see the plants are uh, really loaded uh, with tomatoes uh, as are all the rest of the aromas on down to here so that's it corn's doing great it's approaching uh, probably seven foot tall uh, I made a video July 4th and it's only a week later and it's doing extremely well also so that's it from the garden on July 10th about 9 30 in the morning